So we'll take a little stroll down this way. I want to. I want to. I want to. See what we can see. Wow, that is uh, really. I mean, there's a lot of minnow in there. Uh, I'm seeing there's a lot of crawfish too, which uh, it makes sense. I'm assuming they uh, are feasting off all the algae, off all those rocks. I, I never really thought about it too hard. Oh shoot, there's a frog right there. I don't know what he's doing way over here. I guess there's just so many bugs and, and little things from the feast on that. You know, he probably dominates this whole spot. It might be a tree frog. Um, I'm not really sure. Pretty interesting though. There's another frog over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's pretty ballsy. But I guess there's so many bugs and shit out here. I don't know. But yeah, look, he's right there. Right there. Oh, I see him, yeah. You can see them right on the right there. That was cool. A <laughs> leaf just landed in front of him. Well, I mean, I'm I'm out here in the middle. I don't. How often do you come? Yeah. Out here. <laughs> Nobody ever comes here. Oh, Gotta make sure it's sturdy enough. This one's a little wobbly. Alright. We're in. We're in, we're in. Well, we kind of came a long way and uh, I don't really know how to get back out, but. What are you gonna know? You might think you could just walk straight out, but some of these are like the slipperiest rocks. Yep, like that. Just slide right down. And then you'll catch yourself in a current. And uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I think it's kind of cool how like there's this grass out here. Just kind of like these little islands.
I'm assuming that's what that frog's trying to get to, is this grass out here. It's amazing. Well, again, I mean, this is private land, but we are friends with the owner, and uh, it's very kind to let us poke around and hang around and. We'll be doing some camping, hopefully, in the near future. That's where we were sitting down earlier. We went across that and ended up uh, sitting out on that ledge, and it was a nice flow. It's really strong. Right over there, it's just flowing and... It's a really strong flow. It might not look like it, but it just really... It has a lot of power. There's just a lot of force behind it. <clears throat> All right. And again, we got deer tracks right down here. Still no shed. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Quite possibly, I might possibly go up through these woods and trek around and find some sheds, maybe on some some rub spots. But uh, the chances are slim. You know, you got to find spots where where like they rub at, and then sometimes they just fall off. They'll shake them off. Sometimes you see moose do it too. They just shake their heads frantically and launch them. People get lucky and find them. But, yeah. It's just interesting. Like when I think about... I try to challenge myself to find things to that effect. And there's no real importance behind it. Other than it just... It just goes to show how hard it is to even find something like that. With the deer population and everything. Just to find, you know, every, every year two antlers come on. And they can't even find them. One, found one. And it was a gift. <laughs> 